Okay, so the live stream people are asking why they can't hear me is because I'm not actually saying anything. <laughs> okay, the pilots are gathering as we speak. I'm going to put the Discord on voice activation. I can because I'm an admin. Okay, so I'm going to go and take off and circle the airfield. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. You guys, you? Yes, good, thank you. Just realised I need to be running transmitter, don't I? Yeah, we sure do. And I need to change my username on it. Why do I get the impression of a challenging evening ahead? <laughs> I think you're right. I broke a tooth this morning, that was a bad sign. I should have just gone back to bed. <laughs> How'd you manage that? On a slice of toast, I'm not quite sure how I wasn't even granary there at bread. <laughs> right, I'll circle the airfield for the next 15 minutes while we're waiting for yeah. people to arrive. So in the Hunter, does it matter if we use power on elevator and power on ailerons or not? That's a really good question. Pay <laughs> for excessive load or something. Mine look like they're currently off and it doesn't seem to affect the flying at all. Nope, doesn't seem to make a jot of difference. No. Doesn't make the clouds go away anyway. <laughs> so 
So someone in the live stream is asking why I'm not playing DCS at the moment. Well, if they can invent 36 hours in a day, I'll happily play DCS as well. <laughs> Why you don't fly X-Plane all the day? <laughs> well, I haven't even got it installed at the moment. I keep wobbling over buying X-Plane 12 and I still haven't. I've been watching it today. The, I was watching the young Matt at the club. Oh yeah. The, flying the helicopter. Well, that was on the club's machine. Yeah. The, uh, it, it, it was very stable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the actual helicopter sim bit then. That's odd because I found the helicopters very hard in X plane. I guess I've not got enough assistance turned on. It's a knack. It's, trouble is, you've got to balance it with your throttle as well as the joystick. Yeah. I've only got X playing because it runs on my Mac, so that's how it started. Good afternoon, evening, everyone. Evening. Good evening. evening. Oh, you had a whole load of uh, thank yous at the club today, Jonathan. Oh, for the website. Yeah. The only trouble is nobody, everybody's frightened to try and add anything. <laughs> no, that'd be fine. I'll write some instructions up for them. I did uh, mention to Rory, because he was on about next year's dates to put in the calendar. Yeah? It, I, I suggested if he gets those dates, they're not, they're not final yet, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When he knows, to let you know, and you probably pop them on for him. Yeah. Because I said I've had a couple of goes and made a right hash of it, putting something on there and deleted it all. So, is the hunter able to hold the heading bug, or is that just all manual tonight? That's a good question as well. <laughs> My autopilot button appears to do something, but I'm not exactly sure what. It kind of just stabilises things, but I, it doesn't I'm need not, to hold it tight. I'm not using Logitech, it holds it okay on the other uh, panels. I'm going to cheat. I'm not flying a, a, a warplane, I'm flying a longitude. Fred messaged me, couldn't find the flight for tonight, so I told him just to come to Egan. It was in the forum. This place is very good. It's good, isn't it? Mind you, I've got live cloud on and I'm having to dive down through a big thick layer of it to see the airbase again. Yeah, my cloud's not too bad. It's, uh, yeah, it's clear lumps. <laughs> So I found the cause. I found the cause of the stuttering in the simulator. Oh, well done. Um, ground traffic. For whatever reason, Flight Sim can load in dynamic other players without stuttering. But if you lo if you have ground traffic turned on, it stutters when you get anywhere near an airfield. I'm it's guessing it as it's slowed. Hog, isn't it? I don't know. But I turn the ground traffic off, and it's been you know still. So Silky smooth ever since. Is that including freezing? Yeah. Oh no, it still freezes now and again, but that's, you know, that's something to do with memory management. I think I'm not sure. Either that or the USB controller. It's surprising how fast the Hunter is without an afterburner, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and the climb rate. <laughs> yeah. Because all the modern aircraft rely on the afterburner to do that sort of thing, don't they? 
brakes are very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the airfield across the way from us then that we can see? Lake and Heath probably. Oh, okay. To the northeast is Lake and Heath, yeah. Yeah, I haven't looked at it on that map yet, let's have a look. So we are at Duxford. Yeah, it's Lake and Heath, okay. Not Duxford, we're at um Mildenhall. <laughs> Mildenhall, sorry, yes. Uh, I knew what I meant to say. <laughs> I just didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that later on in the evening, hopefully. Yes, if we survive that long. Don't end up in a Welsh hillside as part of the MacLeap. <laughs> I'll be happy to get that far. I need to put myself a bit forward in the seat. There we go. There's a whole row of C-130s here on the ground. I guess that dates it a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I think the Americans still use them. Oh, it's just the RAF that have retired them then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. 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 Good evening. Good evening, my chest please. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm not able to fly uh, the Hunter. Uh, I'm still learning to uh, do the CJ4. Is that okay uh, to join yeah. the flight? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm flying the uh, longitude. <laughs> okay, thanks. A nice V-tail jet there. I can't remember what it was called. That flies well, but I couldn't. I wasn't sure what speeds we were flying at. So I steered away from it. Oh, is that the French one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but it flies nicely, and, it, and it's got heading holes. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Fuga Magister? Yeah, so. that was it. Yeah. 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 This has heading hole too. It's you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Head in hold. <laughs> I seem to remember one of. Evening. I seem to remember one of my maths teachers at school was an ex hunter pilot. He'd flown javelins and stuff like that as well. His name must have been Noah to be that old. <laughs> <laughs> He'd, I, th I think he'd been involved in several accidents, but I think all pilots of this era were, you know, they, they'd either been involved in accidents or been killed. Yeah. So I looked his name up online a few years back, and he'd made comments on various forums about real, you know, accidents that had happened in the 50s and 60s. And he knew a lot of the pilots that, you know, that were involved or had been at the base at the time. It was quite scary, really. Well, I used to talk about daily accident statistics rather than yearly then. Yeah, the number of javelins that went into the ground is unbelievable compared to today. If they did it today, our Air Force would be out of aircraft in about two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's an unfortunate name, isn't it, for a plane, though, a javelin, because it does tend to go up <laughs> and then down again. And stick into the ground like a dart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know why you, when you read it, Gloucester is spelled G O L. Uh, you just spell it wrong. <laughs> no. G L O U. Uh, no, forget the U, just O S T E R. Yeah. It's because the Americans couldn't pronounce it. Right. Well, there was a deal, a deal done, wasn't there, with the Gloucester Meteor. The Americans 
had a few of them. And then the sabre came off the back of that. Do we know what speed we're aiming for tonight? Have we sort of got a, a notional figure? I don't know. I think Joe's actually put the flight in. I'm not sure if he's here. Or not yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Ah. To do the 500 miles, I think you're going to need to be over 200 knots. Yeah, absolutely. But then the hunter can do that quite easily. I think I was flying the route at 80% uh, engine, and uh, it worked out at about two hours. Uh, if you've got live, you know, live fuel consumption turned on, you'll need to uh, top off um, at yep. better. Uh, sorry, what speed are we aiming for then, roughly? It's probably about 350 knots, I should think. Okay, so the Magister wouldn't have managed that. I'm glad I chose this one. <laughs> so we've got about five minutes until takeoff time. Should I put the labels on, see how many people have arrived? Ooh, quite a few. Actually, going up for a fly around before the flight in this thing is a bit tiring because you're getting so fast, you'd fly too far away if you don't keep a constant bank on. Yep. Circling the airfield. <laughs> I've got stiff neck. <laughs> Cheating, I'm using the autopilot. <laughs> yeah, it does seem to hold whatever attitude you've got, doesn't it? It's... So it does something. Yeah, mine definitely holds altitude and heading, so that's the two things I need. <laughs> it seems to hold whatever vertical speed you've got there as well. Or maybe trim, I suppose. Yeah, I'm using the Logitech panel, so I'm controlling it through that, and it, it works quite well. Yeah, so 80% will give you about 350 knots or thereabouts. So we'll go ahead and take care of the talkie bits here. Um, this is your first time flying with us on Virtual Flight Online Sunday fly, uh, outing. Welcome. Hope everyone has fun. Uh, suggested aircraft for today were the uh, Hawker Hunter or the FA-18. Uh, I guess if you're in the FA-18, you need to plan on refueling a couple of times. Um, at any rate, uh, we'll be making our way north and then working our way across uh, over to uh, Valley Air Base and then down to the Mach Loop to have a loop for three, depending on what your choice is. And then we'll end up in Duxford. Um, if you're on Discord, uh, no bad language, keep it family friendly and clean, uh, and do your best not to offend. Well said. Thank you. Joe, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we've only got a couple of airports we're landing at today. Left circuit should be fine based on terrain. Uh, I don't expect orderly with all of us in jets. Oh, I was expecting a formation landing. I was thinking our flying formation, let's try that, a nice diagonal V formation. Yeah, that would be fun. 
Yep, finish off with the 15 Hunter Loop or whatever they did. And the requisite pass over the runway inverted, right? <laughs> Only the pattern's not full. Negative ghost glider. <laughs> Darn that guy. <laughs> Who's the one that's going to do the big barrel roll around the entire formation? I hope nobody has to be coffee. Do we have a full stop on route? Yeah, uh, plan on valley. Okay, thank you. Right, I think it's time to go, isn't it? Okay. Sounds so, good. So, 328 degrees. And 350 knots, we're saying. I went to change my avatar yesterday, I think it was, in Discord, and it won't let me put a new one in. So I ain't got one anymore. Uh, how do you mean? Uh, do you mean the username or the avatar? The, the picture? Avatar. The or avatar, the picture? Yeah. yeah. Why did it not let you? It, it's trying to push me into doing the, uh, what they call it, um, nitro. nitro, so the free lunch is over with Discord, is it? Yes, yeah, they're forcing me to pay for it. I think you only can, uh, you can only replace the avatar once, isn't it? I've changed it several times up to now, you know, two or three times in fact. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it's the Microsoft I'm thinking about. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I think you're right now. You, you can't do it anymore. You've got to pay for the Nitro. And now you're going to be pressed, pushed into that. Just to put a free picture up. <laughs> Live weather is really nice. You have that, you guys? Yep. I'm going to get away from the ground. It's a bit bumpy down there. Why? Wow. You're sure it's not your side back. Just, just in, I heard that you got rid of the stutters. Yes. That's, that's yeah, it was the it was the ground traffic that was causing it. So whenever I got near an airport, it was stuttering. Yeah, I read about a lot about that. Many have complained about that thing. realize I'm doing 350 but not ground speed. Uh. Yeah, I've got quite a uh, crosswind here, 40 knots it's showing me at 1500 feet.
Excuse me, everyone. Mic check, please. Yes, we can hear you. Bye. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Evening, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Evening. Evening. Players having some fun today. Airplanes are stuttering around a little bit. Have you guys uh, used this Hawker before? Uh, about once, I think. <laughs> Very nice aircraft. Yeah, I fly it all the time. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, for a Phoebe, it's uh, certainly uh, a good aircraft. <laughs> I would say it's almost up to, or I think it's up to, to payware. Lots of other paywares that are worse than this one. This one's really great. So it is. I've only got the stock F-18. Any recommendations? You can try the Hunter because it's free. <laughs> FlightSim.to Yeah, I've yeah, there are two versions. There's a single seat and a twin as well. How does the cloud go up? Is it worth climbing? I'm only at 3,000 feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm at 2,000. I'm stuck in the bottom of it. We're up at 16 and it's up just above all the billowy cloud. Oh, I found the hole. I did a garden to turn the weather off. <laughs> oh, that's no fun at all. The clouds look quite pretty. Yeah, Especially the ground runs prettier. <laughs> and no ground attack hunter pilot would be seen dead above the clouds. Well, we are a little bit ahead of the pack, so shall we um, dive for the floor? Can only see about nine aircraft on the... Uh... I just caught to meet you and you've all gone down again. <laughs> Our ship has crashed. Oh no! 
Well, if you load in at the next airfield, we'll probably be there by the time you've busied up. <laughs> Up and go to EGNW. Yep. Uh, EGXE would be the, the next one. Yeah, and the other one is halfway. I hope to catch up. <laughs> oh, okay. You could always join at Scampton or somewhere, that's about halfway between the two. Clouds clearing, that's nice. Oh, I can see um, Seren Gwen's over there. Yep. Hi, yep. How you doing? Hi, yep. How's it going? Very good. I can see enough lights. I'm homing in on you. <laughs> Just circling this airfield, so we're going to land on. Looks like I need to do a a quick orbit to uh, catch up. Whoa! <laughs> Collins busy, is it? I just cut the grass in a field. I must have been within a foot of the ground. <laughs> I tried to pull in behind um, Sarah and Gwent and and almost blanked yeah. out. So yes, you can black out in this aircraft. Actually, there's a setting in the simulator, isn't there, to give yourself military G limits as against civilian G limits. You can also, also be invincible. <laughs> yeah, there's no fun in that, there is there. Oh, it's the heavy breathing, I don't know. Uh, well, what direction we're supposed to be going? About 3.30, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, I throttled up to climb and then forgot to unthrottle when I levelled out and I'm zooming up ahead. Yeah, it's pretty quick in a straight line. I can see someone, but they're in an airliner. <laughs> So that was Coningsby that we were just flying over then. Yeah. It's not a good free download as well. Isn't Coningsby where the current Eurofighter squadrons are based? In the south, yeah. And um, I guess F-35s now as well. Uh, they're at Marham. Okay. Now, I've installed the Orbex um, scenery for for Britain that came out, was it last week? Well, but so. All of it. <laughs> but I've not actually looked at any of it yet, so I'm starting to see buildings dotted around here and there that obviously are not part of the simulator, so I'm going to go and have a look on, while we're en route. So I have it for explainer. I know it's got any more because I tried to do a flight around that on MSFS and it wasn't there. <laughs> Severn Bridge is total crap. Yeah, but you're comparing that against someone that's built a very detailed version. In the notes yeah, of it, the, go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, in well, the notes of the Orbex add-on, they say specifically that they have reduced the polygon count so it doesn't kill the simulator. It, the the uh, freebie one from FlySim 2 don't yeah. either. But, but, yeah, but you can bet it's got half a million polygons in it. But it doesn't matter, it still don't stutter or nothing. Okay. Tally ho! Hi, yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Evening, guys. Yeah, good. Hi, oh, yeah. Hi, Dave. I'm flying high tonight. I'm not doing any pylon collecting. 
So uh, where, where have I just passed over then? Oh, it's Lincoln Cathedral I've just seen. Yeah, that's a stop I can pull that as well. There's a huge power station over here as well. I'm going to go and have a look at it. Trouble is, I've got that many add-ons from FlySim 2 for Great British, you know, Great Britain's scenery. I don't know what's what anymore. What speed do you look at? I can't catch you. doing 405 true airspeed and 323 indicated or 0.64 at the moment max well, I'm at 618 indicated and I'm not catching it Evening everyone. Evening, how you doing? Uh, surviving. I'm just going hey. towards, where are we, uh, Lincoln Cathedral? Yes. Hi, Pete. Hello Dave, bit late to the day here for me. What are you flying, Lee? Aeromackey. Oh yeah, I was just, I didn't recognise the uh, insignia. That's a nice aeroplane in the sim. Yeah, it goes quick. It does. Oh, I'm, back, I'm back in the L3, uh, 39. I tried the Hunter and I kangarooed down the runway and I thought I'd better swap truck planes. Oh, that was another funny thing today, uh, Jonathan. Rory got the short and he could not get it to start. And he said, I'm going to have to go home and watch that video again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think if there's anything difficult in the shorts that you have to do. I can't remember. Well, he said that lock at the back of all the console there, he, he, if he hadn't have seen your video, he wouldn't have known anything about it or where well, it was. Well, all I did, and here's a clue, was read the book. <laughs> <laughs> No, to be honest, the um, that shorts 330 and 360, the documentation that comes with them isn't great. But I imagine it will improve over time. That's probably why you had so many hits, isn't it? Yeah. People struggling. Because I embellished what they had in the checklist quite a lot to put the standard kinds of things in and the, the order you might do them in, whether it's accurate. Although I had several real shorts pilots that said I'd broadly got it right. But they were just laughing, telling stories about falling asleep at the controls and stuff like that. <laughs> On boring flight runs. Yeah, exactly. Doing cargo flights back and forth. I hadn't thought about that, being a cargo pilot. That's the biggest hazard, is falling asleep all the time. So yeah, the two, the reason, yeah. It Rory was chuffed to bits in the cargo. There's a post uh, Royal Mail, isn't there? Yes. There's another power station coming up. I'm oh, guessing. Oh, yep, yeah, we can hear you. This is the Drax power station, I guess. I think these power stations are part of the We Love VFR pack. Yeah, I haven't got that installed at the moment, but I have got the Orbex stuff, so it's obviously got them as well. I wonder if it conflicts with We Love VFR. As long as you don't see two, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just flew over the local airfield. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, we're way in front again. Maybe I'll circle that. Drex. I'm doing about 5.30 true airspeed and I'm struggling to keep up with you. Uh, I'm running about 80% throttle, 75, 80. Slow down a little bit. Didn't the Hunter hold the world speed record for period? Yeah, but uh, back in the 50s and 60s, it was changing hands every few weeks. It was also a bit of a comp. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the officially it had to be a production aircraft and um, they actually stripped it right out and then yeah. uh, when they um, then sold it to other air forces the other other air forces were saying well why can't ours go that fast <laughs> I was reading a fascinating story about the Ferry Delta as well which had the Mach 2 record for quite some time well it may have even got to Mach 3 I can't remember but yeah, it was I only a, as a youngster that was my favourite airplane but have you read much about it though? It was a prototype and it was cancelled and the group that built it self-funded it to have a go at the speed record without permission. And they got permission after they'd done it. <laughs> Easier to ask for forgiveness than permission, I guess. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. One of them is at Hendon, I think. I think I've seen it. There were several versions because it one of them was heavily modified to develop Concorde off the back of it. Yeah, very, very similar shape to Concorde when you think yeah, about well, it. Yeah, well, they they put those curvy are they, are they called Ogle Ogilvy wings or something? O, o, yeah. oh, I can't remember the word. Yeah. It's like curve in them. But yeah, they modified one of the Fairy Delta prototypes to put the Concorde wings on it. I think they used it to de develop the uh, Delta Wing project. Yep. Ferry Delta was the first plane I ever learned to draw. <laughs> That's so, so Luke Nannington on the live stream is saying that his Discord, I'm, he's saying his Discord, I think he means in his installation of Discord, he can't see half the channels. We added a an onboarding feature which was publicised in emails and in the news channel and all over the place. Um, also, um, if you yeah, Discord has been adding various features to do with hiding channels if you don't use them. If you go into the browse channels page, you can switch channels on that might have disappeared. Flying up to York. So York has a huge cathedral somewhere, doesn't it? York Minster. Where is it? It goes right in the middle. Yep, I'm aiming straight towards it. It's a bit murky though. Fly up the shambles, turn left. Yep. <laughs> Here we go, straight towards it. It's funny that word shambles, because there's a shambles in Worcester. You know, old historic towns, I suppose, same, you know, similar name. Well, there's always somebody upside down, isn't there? <laughs> L Linden. <laughs> Are we doing no, three, me, three four me. straight in the uh, no, you're, you're behaving, are you? The wind yeah, is from the west, isn't it? Little yeah, Nathan is saying 2-1. Let's just okay. have a look at the at I've the airfield. <laughs> yeah, at the airfield, wind is two forty-five knots. So I wouldn't use three one. It's tiny. I think three falls the way in. Yeah. You're missing the formation flying on your wing here, John. <laughs> <laughs> there was like four of them in the diamond formation for about three seconds. It was magnificent. 
I'll fight it. So, yeah. I was trying to tag tag up with you, but I lost you when you turned around. Did you get a photo of it? That's funny. You got three hunters, a A300 Airbus, and a something else behind you as well. Oh, crikey, we're going into the cloud. It's a shame that the um, the substitution is so poor in flight sim, isn't it? It should be part of the aeroplane model, really, shouldn't it? Saying, you know, which of the stock airframe models should it be should it use if they don't have it. Yeah, especially as it's been around for such a long time. Yeah. The other thing that I discovered okay. looking at the SIM Connect data when I made transmitter is the um, the F the the aircraft are not given out by uh, their type at all. There's no coding in an aircraft for what type of aircraft it is, like the ICAO code. All it's got is the name of the livery, and that is up to whatever anybody wants to call it. So there's no commonality, even between the liveries a lot of the time. Oh, crikey, the weather's really closing in. Yeah, I'm about 12 miles out, and uh, I'm down to 3,700 feet, and can't really see much. Yeah, about to go there, I can't see the runway. 1,500 feet is quite clear. Oh, you got a lovely sunny day. So are we going for three, four? Yeah. Yep, let you go three, four. Works for me. Yeah, you can see the airfield from 1,500, it's fine. Are we touching going here? Yeah. I think so. Yep. Unless you need to top off your fuel tank. Of course, that's I guess that's what cliff. weight balance is for, right? So that's top cliff we're just passing by. What's the landing speed of the hunter? Should be aiming for 120. <laughs> yeah, it's 140, I think you can come in quite slow. It's got massive, big, fat wings, so you, I bet you can get under 100 knots easily. It's a uh, 160 and to 135. Okay. Hiya. <laughs> Hi. I, um, just joining late because I um, forgot it was jet night, so I had to download the Hawker. But it's in the flight assistant, the, the uh, recommended speeds. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm just losing a bit of speed because I'm going far too fast. Luckily, it has brakes. I'm getting eight tech cast warnings. Did it? Yay! <laughs> Took my flaps up and nearly fell into the ground.
I didn't add a lot of air uh, airstrips to the first part of this flight to give everybody enough time to burn as much time as they wanted to in the loop. That's great, Joe. Really good choice of aircraft anyway. I was looking at the map and wasn't looking where I was going. So next heading is 241 degrees. Straight over to Valley. I guess if anyone wants to go racing off at full throttle you could do a touch and go at Wharton. is on route. So Wharton's where they developed the TSR2 if you didn't know. Shame they cancelled that. Have you seen it at Duxford? No I've not actually seen it but I've read about it. Yeah, they've got it in Duxford in the, where the Concord is. Pretty impressive. Yep. It's a lot bigger than, well, people that have seen it say it's a lot bigger than you think it's going to be. Yeah, it's huge. I think it's ugly though, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's really high on, the, on its gear, I think. It is. Uh, from what I read about it, and there's a few YouTube videos of people talking about it in the museum, it would have been a failure anyway because it was just unlucky that it was developed just towards the end of valves and towards transistors appearing. So it had this terrain following radar and electronics on board, but it weighed about, you know, several tons to do that with valves. <laughs> <laughs> and it was built by a consortium, so it ended up with the same problem that things like the F-35 have got, where it went hugely over budget, but then it was kind of... Well, they did cancel it in the end, but... It was already massively over budget when they cancelled it. I think the government cancelled it because the budget cuts, I think. No, the, the government cancelled it. Uh, in the end, they broke up the frames because the uh, people were moping around the factory, and apparently, the day after they broke the frames, the government rang them up to say, we've changed our mind, we want you to build it after all, and they said, you can't, we've broken the uh, jigs now. <laughs> uh, but an interesting point is the two uh, US Air Force uh, test pilots who came over to fly it reported back that it was miles ahead of the 111. Yeah. Uh, and I think that proved to be a bit of a problem for the Americans. If oh. it succeeded. Yeah, I read a book about the F-111 years ago. It didn't win the competition, and it was still built. <laughs> it was a political thing. It was the worst aircraft, but it's, it was like, you know if you do a, um, a vote, and everybody has to vote for, you know, to rank the, the aircraft in the competition, and then everybody ends up getting what nobody wants.
except the US Navy who you know said no we're not having it definitely even though they trialled it on the carriers and that's what gave rise to the Tomcat It's funny though how people look back with rose tinted glasses and they say things like, you know, oh the Tomcat was an amazing aircraft and it should have should still be in service and blah blah blah. But it ended up costing so much to run each Tomcat that it just put itself out of service basically. And they wanted to kill it off uh, because Iran has them. Yeah. They wanted to stop the parts coming in. Yep. And, and they, they know F-111 was the upper paper. They did, okay. yeah. But yeah, the, an easy way of stopping anyone flying Tomcats is stop making the parts, because they are so heavy on maintenance. Tom Cruise found one, though. <laughs> he did. Sorry for the spoiler alert there, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm flying his rubbish F-18 at the moment. <laughs> Super Hornet. I've not got another jet at the moment. I'm going to have to uh, splash some cash, I think. I'll have a look at the Hunter as well. It's very good. They say it's a freebie. You, you can't go wrong. The yeah, Aero Mac is very good too. It is. I'm limited to Xbox and uh, they've just brought the Hawk out, so I was thinking about that. Yeah, that's very good. Actually, I forgot to put the Hawk on my Black Friday lookout then. Have you seen the new update to the transfer where it will drop power troops now and, and loads? It's very good. Somebody was telling me about it, I've not seen it yet. Yeah, it's, it's on the latest download, it's very good. Very misty down below, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I'm at two and a half and I'm in work. I'm just above treetop. So it's just cleared. And now I've got rain. Is <laughs> there anybody at altitude that knows how where the cloud ceiling is? Uh, about about twelve five. Yeah, I'm up at fourteen five and we're clear. How far have we got to go? Let's have a look. Okay, I'm going up. Are you leaving this wonderful place? <laughs> Uh, I suppose actually you, you've got a point there. People watching the live stream would probably like to see all these hills and lakes and stuff on the way across the country. Yeah, then it's a little, you can have a little pre-training for the for the race further on. So this yeah. is where are we? Let's have a look. Forest is Boland, is it? Stocks Reservoir. Ah. You've just gone over it, John, I think. Yep. If I put the... There it goes. I appear to have formed a display team. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go... Which way are we going to go around the hills? To the right looks more interesting. Sunshine, hurrah. Yeah, two and a half you'll uh, you'll go with them okay. Hunter doesn't like going too fast at low level, does it? That's not good in the map rate then. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's a lot of fun in the Mac loop. Of course, I'm sadistic enough to also enjoy flying the C-17 through the loop. <laughs> it handles like a walrus on a lazy Susan. I was going to say I flew that this morning and crashed that as well. <laughs> it's a good job there's no kind of monetary system in Flight Sim that ranks up how many airframes people have bent. <laughs> I've wrecked quite a few Merlin engines since I bought the Spitfire. <laughs> That's a rite of passage with the Spitfire though, isn't it? Wondering why there are flames spitting out of it. And What's the flag? Flag? I, I watched the program on TV this morning, early. Uh, a plane that I've forgotten what it's called. It looks a little like a Spitfire. Got a Merlin engine, but it's got no forward guns. It, it's got a turret with guns in it. It was for night fighting. Bomb yeah, Paul Defiant. Bomb Paul Defiant. Yeah. Bomb Paul Defiant. Yep. That's it, the, you've got it, yeah. The, they've got one at um, Hendon, I think. Well, it was. They found a wartime crash site and they dug it up. And they, the engine. <laughs> Internally, was pretty good condition. I mean, there's no way it was ever going to fly again, but it uh, it was amazing how good a condition that engine was internally. You know, considering how many years it had been buried. So someone in the live stream is asking if we are flying the new Flying Iron Aeroplane. No, we're not. <laughs> this is the free Hawker Hunter. There's two versions of it at FlightSim.2. There's the single-seater, which was the, the developers that made it. They made the single-seater first, and then everything they learnt doing that, they then went and made the two-seater, and the two-seater is a lot better. Or well, Sorry, the cockpit is telling. better. <laughs> yeah. You can see the progression of, you know, how they learn how to do it. It'll be interesting to see if the quality of uh, what Flying Iron spits out is that much better than what we're dealing with here. Yeah. I imagine it would just be things like switches and levers and things will do us do what they should be doing. Right. Well, I thought we might fly around the coast and go and have a nose at Liverpool, but I can't see a damn thing. It's raining over Blackpool. Yeah. I was so going to land on the beach at Blackpool, but someone did that this week. <laughs> I'm above the cloud. Yeah, I'm climbing out. It's about between 14,000 feet-ish. Just coming up through six. When the Vulcan comes out, these will make good escort planes. <laughs> I think we're going to form the biggest Vulcan squadron ever seen by the human eye. <laughs> Are you doing a Lancaster stream when that releases? Yeah. I usually try and it depends where well, it depends if I got the time to do it, but if I get the time. Uh three Valley. Wind on the ground at Valley is two forty, twenty two knots. <laughs> That's coffee break, isn't it there? Yeah. There is a one way two five, but it's out of service apparently. It still works to land on. <laughs> yeah, they just run out. 
You're running out of room. <laughs> I'll go 3 Otherwise, 1, go the full three, length. One, yeah, three, I'd recommend 3 1. Just breaking the same barrier. You're a glutton for break, breaking things, aren't you, Dave? I thought the engine was conking out, but of course then it dawned on me what it was. over a wind farm in the bay. Left hand circuit for 3-1 then. Yep. Yeah, I think Liverpool might actually be free of cloud cover, or it looks it from here. Oh, is that overhead join again? I can't remember that. Rarely is hardly any flow on their road. Yeah, it's beautiful over the sea. Right, let's turn head tracking off for a moment so I can read the live stream. Just frighten somebody in a boat. Let's go down that. There's a boat in a wind farm there. I frighten him to death. I bet it was his house you hit as well. Turbines are going to a fair old lick. That was Peter, I could hardly hear you at all. Sorry, it's a bit like my voice is not uh, so good at the moment. Your display team just flew right behind me, I need to go and change my trousers. <laughs> <coughs> is that the hook? I've seen that before, I'm going to the wind farm, some are turning and some aren't. Make them a date, sir. If you don't have the uh, free scenery from FlightSim.2 for Valley, it's, it's definitely worth the download. I've installed it, I've never seen it yet, so this will be my first experience of it.
Oh, well, here's a fascinating fact for today. Rolls-Royce, who obviously make large commercial jet engines, make a million pound loss on every one they sell. And they make it back up on the maintenance. And during COVID, nobody was flying, which is why they made a stonking loss. But um, they're making a profit again now because um, the maintenance contracts are kicking back in. Probably lots of uh, big backlog on that one. Sorry, you're a bit faint. Oh, I'm sorry, Neil. I, I said it's it probably a big backlog on that work that has to be done. Yeah, I don't know if they're sitting on the ground, whether that necessarily applies. It's certainly uh, not as much as uh, if they were, you know, being sweated. So we're doing full stop at Valia. Yes, sir. Okay, I might circle it first to have a nose at the airfield first. Then, and then flying over. Move in now for a breakdown wind. Have you guys got any opinions on the um, Turtle Beach, uh, the last one yoke? Not on my Xbox, I've got not a lot, not got a lot of options as regards yokes and flight sticks. I've got one on Xbox and yeah, it's, it's fine for me. Just it's on offer at the moment at Amazon just for about two hundred and eighty pounds. It's just something I'm looking at. That's so, all. Yeah, I, 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 I would recommend it personally. I've run out of fuel. I don't believe it. better, 75% full. Going around, made a pig's ear with that one. Someone's in a tomcat down there. Yep.
The hunter has dust effects by the look of it as well. It does. Hence why I just saw a wall of dust come flying at me. That's the biggest F-35 I've ever seen. Kind of looks like a Airbus. No, I've uh, not found the Hunter, but I've got the Hunter, but I've not seen any Hunters, all I'm seeing is Airbuses and private jets. Uh, there's two models of Hunter, did you get both? Yep, I've got both, the uh, single oh. and the twin. Yeah, how strange. Yeah, I'm going to stop moving so you should see it. Yeah, I'm right behind you, Peter. I've even got a little uh, pri uh, Piper uh, piston uh, just crossing the uh, in front of me. Well, I took a gamble and stopped the engine. That's you behind me, Joe. That's me. That's interesting. So this. Custom Airport has got the static models of the Eurofighter and the F-35 in it. And Hawks. Very cool. And a lot of Carlo stroke Texan things. I think on the other side of the airfield there's uh, some F-15s and some uh, turboprop trainers. So, how much fuel did they end up with? Oh, 30%. That's not bad. Alright, time for a tea. Great minds think I like. I'm going to do the same. Back in a few minutes.
can't miss that rumble of a hawk starting up, can you? Hey, I'm back. Yeah, so whoever that was that was flying formation with me, uh, some of the best formation flying I think I've ever seen in the sim. <laughs> they must be absolutely shattered now, they. Yes, and sweating. <laughs> it's um, very difficult to concentrate that much for that long, isn't it? Yes, the windows are open now. <laughs> right, I'm going to get back in the air and orbit the airfield, waiting for everybody else to come back. Sounds like a good plan. Well, I've swapped to a hunter now, and uh, I've got a uh, red hunter beside me. Hurrah! And it's moving! Well, I didn't get to practice the map loop, so that would be fun. Control E to start the hunter. Hopefully, that's nothing else that I've got to do. I don't think so. I think it's pretty good. Sims frozen. First time tonight. Okay, just disappeared.
quite amusing when I'm just watching the aircraft take off and when you see something that's substituted with a much bigger body it makes no sense watching it accelerate <laughs> Yeah, it looks really silly when you watch those substitutes. Yeah, watching the hunters take off looked like real film. It was quite spooky, really. That's yeah, nice. Does the hunter use hunter indeed? Uh, does the hunter use any flap for takeoff? I put it on the first stage just for habit, but. Okay, thanks. Uh, they recommend it in a manual, but practically it's not needed in the sim. I mean, yeah, I think I usually use flaps one. I watched the red arrows take off from above. I was a student pilot and coming back in to land at Manston and I was on the downwind and they asked me to orbit on the downwind leg which was very unusual so I was flying circles on the downwind leg and the, underneath me the red arrows all taxied out formed, formed a diamond and after about two minutes uh, all took off in a diamond so that's something you, you can't pay to see Beautiful If everybody's so inclined, uh, I would just suggest that we go ahead and proceed straight into the loop. Yep. On the way. So going down to Lambeth, yep, in through that way. Actually, at the time, I was quite annoyed because um, I was paying something like two pounds a minute to hire this plane. But um, now I um, wish I hadn't got so cross at the time. Yeah, well, when you're paying the fuel bill. I haven't been into the Mac loop for a while. Should be good fun. Well, we're going to approach it. I was going into CAD first. Um, we're going to go in via, uh, what's the bay called? Barmouth. Go up the water there and then double back to come in. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Are we doing the touch and go at Lambeth first? You can if you want. <laughs> yeah, it's not the plan, might as well.
do a circle of Bahamas to watch, sorry, of um, Lambada to see if anybody does come in. Put labels on. Just about to join finals. He's going to have a go. Turn the labels off as we go in for the, the Mac Leap. I'm flying a plane that I've never flown before in my first group flight in the Mac loop that I've never done before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going down the down the estuary at this point. Who are you behind? Oh. So if anybody shouts out if they know the Mac loop, then anyone else can put can spot their labels and follow, I guess. Because I know the Mac loop, so. Saren at the yeah, minute, me too. he's directly in front of me, whoever that is. Oh, Saren's an expert, that's it. Nico yeah. knows the back loop and I'm just turning in towards Cad. And what's more, Saren can tell you how to say the place names properly. <laughs> Doll Gaslight. <laughs> Property Ping, it's about as Welsh as I get. Yeah. Now we ask him for too much. All I ever want to know is who's a ref and why is he going so slow? So coming in from the estuary end, you don't actually start the Mac loop until you double back on yourself in a, you know, after you've, um, there's like a hill oh, you... are doubling back now. Yeah, there you go then. It's when you go through um, the hill before Chorus, isn't it, is the entrance. This works well with head tracking on, right there. Jesus Christ, the A320 is low. Oh, the entrance. You just wish the passengers would quit screaming, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess do a lap at three quarter throttle and then turn it up. <laughs> oh, I'm just winging it. I think I'm doing better than some of these uh, private jets that aren't private jets. I just popped out of it. There, all the hunter makes the L39 uh, kitty car. It's chorus. I 
Atlanta doesn't like going too fast. It's quite strange. That was one of uh, Bob Monkhouse's old jokes about how Anybody when he that flies Hang on. more than 200 foot above the ground is disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> So what was the Bob Munkas joke? I used to say that when he dies he wants to go peacefully in his sleep like his father and not shouting and screaming like the passengers in his father's bus. <laughs> Is there a recommended speed for the loop? 400, 500 knots? As fast as you dare. I just thought like 400 knots in this feels slow. What the fuck? I'm on my third lap. Start me fourth now. Taking part of the cow. <laughs> so you have to slow down for this tight bit, don't you, in the first part? Yeah, you won't, you won't make a few of the wiggles, but uh, you'll get most of them. Sim froze. <laughs> I've just learnt that first bit the hard way. I didn't slow down, I was following someone. Oh, I've just got rid of live weather. Yeah, I think I might. I'm getting a lot of turbulence. I don't know if that's a feature of the hunter or the weather. Mine's more like stuttering than turbulence. Let's see if we can fix it. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of stuttering. Yeah, me too. Everyone yeah, recently at low altitudes been reporting stutter, and I don't know what, what's changed. It's great to see the shadow go across the floor in front of you, isn't it? This is big fun. <laughs> Let's um, turn the head tracking off and do this. What's the button and slow mood to put you back in the air? Why? Why? Why in an F3 or a, is it an F4? F4. 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 Aha! <laughs> Nothing to see here. Concentrating. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard when you can't, have to keep looking at little nav map to see where to turn left or right. 
one more lap. I've got the camera sorted out. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more fun when you have it memorized, that's for sure. Yeah. Get in there. We need a lot more laps. Whoops. You just follow the river, really. You can't go wrong. Well, if you do go wrong, you end up spread across 300 yards of farmer's field. <laughs> Uh, you become fertilizer in the farmer's field. That comes just before the uh, the impact. Yeah, there's no way this can make the tight turns. What might be useful is... I'm very smooth now, my stuttering has completely stopped. We get the roll point in the middle of the screen, there we go. finish this lap and then I made him back on the route. So is the exit just straight over that pond? Yep, correct. I've just gone vertical and put the labels on. I can see this stream of people going around the Mac loop. It's quite cool. <laughs> We'll go around again. One more. So, where is next? Back out towards Duxford. Yeah, there's a waypoint out of the exit and then turn to, yep. to Duxford. I'll just um, hang around over the top of the map loop watching the labels whiz around. It's quite good fun. I've just built me Baileys.
Moment, auf der Dobbswind. I don't think nobody wants to go to the Dutch good. Some fluffy clouds back on. Uh, a few clouds. Okay. My oh, weather's not too bad. Let's try it. Yeah, it's throwing the aeroplane around though, isn't it? I don't know why. I'm going to go with a few clouds and maybe put sunset on or something. Don't forget to refuel if you need to. I've just looked and I've got 11% left. <laughs> What speeds are you getting in them hunters? Just heading across here, flat out, I'm getting about like 0.96, about 613 knots. That's about right. We've run out of fuel again.
About to go past the south edge of Birmingham in a moment. Beer. Can anybody see my stream? <laughs> uh, I haven't even looked at Discord. How many people have we got on today? Oh, it's quite a few. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> You crashed. Just run out. Yeah, run out of fuel again. I tried to land in a field, but forgot to put the wheels down. <laughs> you can still well, use slew. I yeah, I, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't forget to put the wheels down. I uh, yeah, they just didn't come down. Can you do a video on fuel management for your dad, please? <laughs> <laughs> and undercarriage levers. Yep. No, I, I knew where that was. It's just that with no engine, nothing was going to happen. Dave, you have to have enough fuel for your flight. Has it got well, an emergency started, release? I actually f filled it right up. Well, till I was overweight. But uh, it, it's... It, I, I've got to admit, I was full throttle all the time. Well, that's why. <laughs> I'm going to pull the plug. I ain't going to make ducks through. Oops. Uh, I suppose I could uh, blow, couldn't I? I'll slew to ducks through. <laughs> you could take it off from Birmingham. You know you can uh, refuel in mid-flight, don't you? I tried that, but I couldn't start the engine. Control-E. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, okay. The wife's watching the jungle tonight, so I decided I'm allowed to get an extra hour. <laughs> Same here.
to hear full throttle across the treetops. See how many complaints we can get phoned in. If you're over 500 feet, they can't complain. I'm a bit below that. <laughs> okay. If you're going so fast they can't write your uh, reg down, they can't complain. <laughs> I don't know if you have the same thing, the people that are um, flying tonight from either the US or elsewhere in the world than the UK. Do you get the same thing where aircraft have panic buttons and they scramble fighters if they're pressed? Obviously not. No, then. <laughs> no, it's happened a few times over here, hasn't it, the last few years? Yep. I think the most famous one, was it Bristol? A helicopter, I think, pressed it, but with his knee by accident or something. And they scrambled a Eurofighter from up, in, up north, and he went flat out down the country. Broke the sound barrier, about 2,000, 3,000 feet. It's the only time they're permitted to do it over land, isn't it? Yep. Of course, he got there, and there was this very apologetic private pilot, <laughs> or commercial pilot I should say. It's like I remember, oh I, f I forget who it was, had a, one of the, the aviation YouTubers, like an ex-military pilot, was looking around at an air show and they were looking at the F-16s and stuff parked on the ground and he said yeah they're beautiful aeroplane but you never want to see one come up alongside you. <laughs> So if you do, you've done something seriously wrong and you're going to have a lot of paperwork and possibly lose your job. <laughs> Passing flares is not good afternoon, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the civilian score in the UK is 7,000 and the score, if you're in distress, is 7,700. So they're very close. So a lot of pilots have selected 7,700. The problem, problem comes with if you leave the squawk on while you're changing the numbers, and then what will happen is you may well set 7700 while you're going to 7,000. Right. So, so that people did it so many times that they refused to respond to 7700 um, because they had to, they had to re react manually. Yeah. And... Um, so what they did was they then insisted that um, they try and contact the pilot of the plane before responding, which included ringing up his wife, who was at home, and saying, is your husband likely to be in trouble? <laughs> Does he need search and rescue, etc., etc.? And then, then what happened is they developed a system that monitors it automatically. So now, uh, if, if anybody scrolls through 7700, um, it all hell lets loose automatically. The, the computer's taking control, and um, but the people who do it most frequently are student pilots, right. and they do it while they're on the ground on the um, <laughs> on the apron at airfields, and they're trying to set the transponder codes, and they're a little bit difficult to set because the actual the digits scroll backwards. Yeah. So to go one, you have to turn it clockwise, for example instead of anti-clockwise, which is what you'd expect. And um, several student pilots have um, had their training suspended simply for getting that seven instead of a zero. Because yep. there are only seven digits, it goes yep. zero to seven, so. I'm just going to have a look at the Silverstone circuit. I just had a divert off over my own parish near the Iron Bridge. I've never done it before. It's going to be 
dark, I'm going to wind the clock back. What, uh, what, what are we landing at in Duxbury? There. That's a good question. <laughs> According to the real wind. At uh, 2 4. Yeah, Jerk. wind's 2 40, 11 knots if you got the weather on. Doing a left hand approach. Just gonna have a Milton Keynes, there's roundabouts everywhere. <laughs> About to go over Northampton now. So whereabouts is Silverstone compared it's somewhere out on the outskirts of Northampton, isn't it? Near Aylesbury. It looks really good in the sim. Got between Aylesbury and Buckingham. If folks have enjoyed this, I've got a uh, another one in the hopper that's uh, China Lake to Nellis Air Force Base. It's uh, Star Wars Canyon route. Sounds good. All right. Great. Yes, please. May the force be with you. <laughs> yep. Looks like I'll have to drag out the China Lake paint job. This was a good one, Joe. Thanks. That's great. These aren't the planes you're looking for. Oh, this plane is a keeper for me. There's also a low altitude uh, training route through the North Carolina mountains that I'm still working on too. So I'll get those on the docket in the next couple of months. <laughs> of course, we got all these art up museum pieces, and they. Oh, in Duxford, yeah. It's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And they got a VC-10. They have. <laughs> uh, 
that Martin said that when they had it uh, new key is was literally falling to bits with corrosion. What? VC10? Well, they, yeah, they cut it up, scrapped it. Well, oh, right. well, they had to. They had to move all their aircraft because the council took them out. I'm going to come in over Duxford flat out. Oh, they got BAE, BEA Trident, aren't they? Oh, there's the. Oh, I'm going to park right in front of the VC10. That's my favourite. Well, that was a better landing that time, only bounced a couple of times. <laughs> That's a good question you ask in that newsletter, Jonathan. I What's wonder that? what the re I wonder what the rest of the virtual airlines would say if we vaulted to the top out of nowhere in that questionnaire. No oh, yeah. question. <laughs> so everybody on here got to send emails to everybody they know to vote for virtual. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah.
Yeah, if anybody puts anything other than virtual flight on dot online, they'll be banned. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> And, and when they are, when you ask that when they when you fill in the question what aircrafts or what you would like to see new so you got up for a VC10 <laughs> mosquito isn't there one on flight sim 2 Mosquito, can't remember. That's for Microsoft Flight Sim, you know. There's one in DCS. Ah, oh, that's where I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's steady level though, and it's a nightmare to fly. Yeah, I second that. I gave up flying it. What's the problem, not that it doesn't have counter-rotating props so that it pulls very strongly to one side on takeoff. I think they had to nerf that a bit because nobody could take off in it. Right guys, I'm calling it a day. Thank you very much to everyone. Really good flight. See you cool. soon. See you soon, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah, everybody. Cheers. Bye, everyone. Take care. Good night. Good night. Right. I'm going to taxi past all the museum planes now and see if I can remember what they're called. Well, there's the tank museum at this end of the airfield. I think this is the US yep. hangar at the, the end we've rolled into, isn't it? Yeah, it is a new one, yep. Looks great with a row of hunters taxiing in. I think we shall try that again. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, round we go again. <laughs> so there's a Trident, there's a VC-10, there's a BAE-146, and I can never remember the name of the four-engine one, the propeller one. Is it Britannia? Oh, it might be. Or is that the one next to it? Oh, I, I can't remember. Viscount. Yeah, that's it, Viscount, yeah. Yep. Cheers, guys, that's me. Uh, catch you on the next one. See you soon. Yeah. Night night. So, if you want to go wandering around with the drone camera, I think there's a Spitfire on the entrance of the, the roadway into the airfield. Is it a real one or like that one? Uh... Airfix one, what's it made? <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll put the drone camera on. So. Thanks, Joe, that was great. I'll have to do the metal loop again then. Can I just stop the engine in the Hunter? I'll just turn the fuel off. There's switches along the bottom just behind the joystick, aren't there? There's a master battery there. Isn't there? Cheers for that, everyone. Let's get fun. See you soon. Yeah, thanks yeah, all. Oh, it's a hurricane, night, sorry. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there's a hurricane on a big spike by the road junction on the way in. If you sit on the ground for five minutes, it'll run out of fuel and turn itself off. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't find anything to switch it off with. I 
I'm in the single seat, but I can't see a switch anyway. No, what I found was I caught the fuel off, which is the lever on the left, the low pressure fuel, and then turned the master off and it all went off. <laughs> ah, yes, I found the low pressure lever, that'll do. Right, night all. Night, night. Yeah, catch you tomorrow. Cheers. Damn it, that's the name to remember. See you guys later. It's a lot of fun. Thing. Sorry. Well, oh, that was see? much better. No Tigger the Tiger bouncing that time. <laughs> so looking in the window of the American hangout, I can see a B-17. Actually, we're a bit... I need to change the, the sun angle. So we it's can actually see... A it's a hurricane. Sorry, it's a hurricane on the plinth at the entrance. It is, yeah. So there's a B-17 in there, there's a DC-3, or C-47 I guess, isn't it? It's the military version. Hang you go, let's take a look. All we need to do really is go and look in, there's a Mustang hanging up, you can see its blades <laughs> pointing at the window. All you really need to do is go and look on their website, and obviously you can see photographs inside. Very cool. Yeah, it's like a cruise missile launcher at the front there as well. Yeah, and the RAF hangar is closed, so you can't actually see through it. Which is a shame. Yeah, I'm going to shut down, so I'll say night night, everyone. Okay, see you soon. Yeah, night night. Now, have they modelled? Uh, no, they haven't done the interior of the control tower then. Saves on frame rate, I guess. You, you can go through the gates with the aircraft, can't you? And uh, the hangar doors will open as well. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you go through the red gates near the control tower and up to the hangar next to the main uh, RF, I think it is, if you taxi up the doors, they'll open. Very cool. Oh, there's a helicopter. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Spitfire parked up on the ground. A memorial. Looks like somewhere they do educational talks for school trips and things. Cheers, everyone. Have a good week. Go. Cool. See you soon. Yeah, All really right. good. Thanks. 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 So, anybody watching the live stream, this is the free scenery that you can get for Duxford Air Base in the UK. There's several um, files in the pack or downloads you can get. One of them puts an air show crowd in the scenery as well. Uh, just for anyone wanting to know how to turn the uh, engine off, um, behind the throttle is the uh, fuel cock. Turn that off and the engine dies. Detail here is unbelievable. I'm reading one of the um, signs you can read of the crowd but outside the gun butt. And it tells you all the history of it. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? They obviously went there for the day with their cameras and... <laughs> Got all their textures yeah. done. You can read it. You can read it all. It's fantastic. Right, I'm going to close the live stream down.